All right, we're going to take a little look at how to use graphical analysis to collect data for the um, Descartes Mass Lab. And so what I have uh, opening up right now is graphical analysis. That's the program that works with the motion detectors. And we're going to do a couple of things with that. The first thing that I want to do is to, um, let's see, can I make you? That's fine, I don't mind. The first thing I'm going to do once this finally starts is make sure that the cart is CVPM. Okay, I want to make sure that the cart has a constant velocity uh, because I know then if it's got a constant velocity that the forces on it are balanced and I want to start from that point. So um, in order to do that, I'm going to have to put some paper towels underneath one end of the, the track um, and I'll know how many once I give this thing a push and I see a velocity versus time graph that is CVPM. And it looks like the bar is just about there. Come on, buddy. All right. Um, so I've got the LabQuest Mini hooked up. I've got a motion detector plugged into DIG1 port and then a USB cable running from the LabQuest Mini to my Chromebook. Um, and I'm just going to give the cart a push here and hit the space bar to collect some data. And the cart went all the way to the end of the track. Uh, the easiest way to see if it's CVPM or not is to look at the velocity graph. And right now, I can't really tell. But if I double click on it, uh, it'll auto scale from zero. There's a weird spike at the end that kind of makes it uh, tough to see. But uh, it looks like it's definitely got a little bit of a negative slope there. So I'm going to fold some more paper towels and put them underneath that into the track and let's see, let's see how it looks now Ooh, that's not good at all try that again all right is that cvpm nope still a little bit inclined so i'm going to grab some more paper towels put them underneath there um, let me pause this while I sort it all out. Come on, buddy. All right, we're going to say that uh, this is close enough to government work to um, make this go this way. Is that going to make it better? Nope. Um, that's close enough to government work for horizontal. If I wanted to, I can go in here and um, use some tools to get the, the slope. Um, let's apply a linear, linear curve fit there and you can see my slope is 0 0.0003. So that's, again, close enough to government work to zero that we'll roll with this. So now that it's CVPM, now I know whatever I, I add to this, whatever I hang over the uh, pulley, is going to serve as my unbalanced force that's going to lead to some acceleration. So right now I'm putting um, 100 grams. So I've got a 50 gram hanger and a 50 gram mass. So I've got 100 grams. That's going on the hanger. And I'm hanging it over the pulley. And now when I collect the graph, You can see my velocity versus time graph. There's definitely a section here where it's really linear, okay? Um, there's a little bit of a hump at the beginning because I started a little too close to the detector and then it rounds off at the end. So I'm gonna kind of avoid those two parts and come on this part that's clearly linear and I'm just clicking and dragging. I've got about a half a second of data there. And then I'm gonna come down here to the graph tools, click on that and um, what does it give me if I've used statistics? Nothing really useful. So let's just click and drag on this. And I think I just want to go with that curve fit. And linear works for me. So I apply that. And now it gives me um, the slope is 1.607. That's the slope on the velocity versus time graph. So that is the 
acceleration. So remember that quick 1.607. Let's collect. Let's collect another trial and just see if, if that value is reasonable. I did a better job of starting farther away from the detector that time. So you can see this has got a nice linear section uh, where we're experiencing a constant acceleration. And if I go to the curve fit and linear 1.603. So, yeah, we're getting agreement uh, to three digits here pretty well. Um, so I would do that. I would collect a couple, two or three trials at every data point just to make sure that you um, can trust the value that you're getting for the slope. So, again, clicking and dragging, hitting the graph options there, and applying a linear fit to get the acceleration. All right. Good luck.